And welcome to the Factor Uncensored. This week kicks off the winter holiday season. Now, a lot of people are thinking this is the perfect time to give homeless people hot food, which I'm sure they are thankful for. However, that may not be the most useful thing that they could use this week. My first guest talks about what you can give to help them for more than just a day. And joining us now here on the Factor Uncensored are favorite homeless advocate, Sherry Dorr. Glad to have you here on The Factor on Sensor. You do so much great work in the community, defiant to the end. Even if you've received ticket after ticket from the city of Houston, you are still out there saying, damn it, I'm going to feed these people. And we there thank you for what you do to start our conversation off. Yes, thank you so much. Ticket number 75 is coming tonight, but uh, hey, it is what it is. As long as people need to eat, we're going to continue to do what we do. Absolutely. Now let's talk about uh, it's Thanksgiving week and people are preparing uh, to go out in, in their minds doing what they think is best right now. And what they will right. typically do is take a lot of food out there to the homeless. This right. is the week that many homeless people will get tons of food and yes. some of that food will likely go to waste, right? That's correct. So we what would your advice would be as an advocate who's out there in the trenches with those individuals? If people want to give, what would be your best advice to them on how to do it? Well, keep in mind that we're going to have a surplus. It happens every year. Some get the message, some don't. Uh, people bringing food to people. But um, I think it, the, the need is also there uh, for people who need items, clothing items, warming items, um, you know, stuff of that nature as well, aside from food, uh, because we're going to have such an influx. And then our group is continuing to share food four nights a week as well. So what you're going to end up seeing is like piles and piles of food sitting beside this one person who cannot possibly consume it all. And I definitely don't want people to uh, go through all the hard work of, of making these plates and then bringing them out only to be trashed. So um, this year is a little bit different because we're seeing an influx in prices of, of groceries. I mean, mm -hmm. buying stuff for sandwiches will cost you an easy 20. So uh, what we're asking people to do is to plug into communities um, who uh, are a little bit more unfortunate in apartments um, or, or elderly places, um, people who live in, in homes for veterans, and maybe reach out there and bring the food to, to those individuals, people who can't get out on the streets as easily as our homeless are and and see if we can try to serve them because uh, this week is going to be very hard for uh, families children are going to be out of school uh, with the price of groceries and stuff like that we're going to see a lot of families going without because they simply cannot afford uh, this this inflation and the cost of food so we're trying to get people to try to maybe uh, deter a little bit and um, go into those other communities with people that might have housing and see if we can actually help people who are greatly in need there too. And it would also be a good idea because many professional organizations or grassroots organizations like yourself, uh, you guys know what to do and when to take that food out. So if you want to donate to you guys, instead some some cash or some supplies, that would be great. But if you're going to go out and, you know, to, to the homeless, you know, the last time I was out there, they said, well, bring us some toiletries, bring us some socks, bring us a charger for our phone. You know, and those things are really cheap. You can get those things at the dollar store. Right, right, right. And um, and then these are, again, essential items like wipes. You know, people don't have access to t showers and toilets like we would hope they would. So it would be great to see uh, some of these items go out to, to people as well. Uh, so, yeah, that is a great, great idea. And if um, you, you want to go out and give and you want to whether it's food or or hygiene products or whatnot, um, the, the one thing that we advocates are very uh, passionate about is respecting the homeless individual. If you're going to film um, or you want to record, feel free to record all the items that you're giving away, but try to record people from the face 
down. Uh, so that way, you know, some people can remain anonymous. Maybe they don't want their families knowing that they're homeless or somebody's escaping a domestic violence situation. We're seeing a lot of that lately. And so they don't want their faces to be seen. Um, and so, and you'll have a lot of homeless that will turn away from people who've got their cameras out because they feel like the only way that they can get a meal is if they're showing on video and maybe they just don't want that. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, but definitely, you know, if you're in the spirit of giving, you know, we're happy for anybody to participate. And, and if they want to film, you know, that's the only way to spread the word too about doing good deeds, but just respect the face going down, you know, try to respect that from the individual you know, whenever you guys are out there. And at, at some point it becomes exploiting them, exploitation, and you definitely yeah. don't want to do that. You guys uh, are collecting a few items that you uh, are asking the community for help. Tell us a little bit about that, Sherry. So every year, um, we usually try to get sleeping bags, blankets, hand warmers, beanies, gloves, um, even the Mylar blankets, which are the little foil blankets that make people walk around looking like little baked potatoes, but it works. <laughs> um, and so we're definitely collecting uh, these items uh, for our community. And it'd just be great because sometimes an individual will walk up to me and ask for a sleeping bag. And if I have it in my vehicle, I'm able just to pass it along. Um, and so if we can get, you know, some of that, that would be wonderful uh, because we're seeing a lot of people, you know, it might be warm during the day, but the concrete is cold at night. Um, you know, so we could definitely use these items to be able to help people during the evening hours. And where can they drop these items off or where should they call? Who should they reach out to? So I am on Facebook, uh, Cherie Dorr, um, but if people want to message me and reach out to me, uh, but also Food Not Bombs is at the corner of Smith and McKinney on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at uh, 7.30. People are there as early as 6.30, 7 o'clock. If people just want to come and just drop off and go, we're happy to take them and then do what we must with any items that people want to donate to us. Thank <laughs> you.